Today's digital pictures are all about one thing, pixels. The more pixels that you have in a picture, the better the quality of the image and the bigger the enlargements that you can make from it. To scan effectively, it helps to know and to understand a little bit more about what is a digital picture. A pixel is a dot of color, one of 16.7 million different colors. And when you place pixels next to each other, it creates the illusion of image detail and the color spectrum. Digital pictures have a physical size of so many pixels across in width and so many pixels in height. How big of a picture you can create is determined by the resolution needed by an output device such as your computer's monitor or a photo printer. Photo printers at Walgreens, Walmart, Shutterfly and other services need a resolution of 300 pixels per inch of a print. If we have a 12 megapixel image and divide its dimensions by the printer's needed resolution of 300 pixels, the result shows that we can make a print slightly larger than 13 inches wide and 10 inches deep. When I scan, I don't know how big I may want to enlarge a picture or if I want to go and crop that picture. I don't know how my family or future generations may want to use that picture. So if I let my scanner do what it wants, it's going to create a digital picture file that is the exact same size as the original. Well, what if I want to blow it up to like an 8x10? It can't be done. So when I scan, I pay particular attention to how many pixels there are in the digital picture's dimensions, like 4,000 or 5,000 pixels in its largest dimension. So how can we control a scanner to create that big digital picture file? Most scanner software has a panel that will allow you to adjust the scanner settings. So we're going to be looking for a button or a tab that says something like settings or advanced or customized to open that panel. In my software, there's a button marked customize. I'll open the panel and then look at how I can adjust the size of the scan. Now, depending upon the scanning software, the image scan can be adjusted by changing the resolution or the percentage or the physical dimensions. I see in my software I have an option to adjust the scan by resolution. By clicking on the drop down arrow I'm given a number of resolution setting options. If I set the resolution to 300 which would be 300 pixels per inch of the original image the result would be a digital picture file the exact same size as the original image. But if I double the resolution to 600, I will double the size of the digital picture file that I am creating from let's say a 5 inch picture to a 10 inch digital picture file. If I triple the resolution to 900, I will triple the size of the digital picture file up to 15 inches. There is a downside. As you increase the size of the scan, you increase the time it takes to perform the scan. A basic exact size scan takes about a minute, but if you double the resolution or the size of the, spit, the scan, it will take two minutes to three minutes if you triple the size of the scan. The bigger the digital picture file that you're trying to create, the longer it takes to complete the scan. When the scan is complete and the My Pictures folder opens, I'll check the size of the new digital image file that I just created. I'll place the mouse cursor on that picture file and a box will appear and it will show me the dimensions of the picture in pixels, both width and height. If I divide the larger number by 300, that will tell me the largest print I can make from that image. 
once you set the scan size, you can leave that setting to scan pictures of similar size. Change the print size, you have to change the scan size. And this is one of the reasons why, as I scan, I like to group my pictures by size and by topic, just to be efficient. Now, so far, we've learned how to control the scan size and how to quickly check our scans for its correct dimensions. Now it's time to learn how to get organized and stay organized.